Friday morning and it's been a doozy of a week so I'm really pumped it's Fixer Friday. And I'm excited because we have an original 1950s home on a massive lot here in El Cajon. It's going to be super cool. Can't wait to check it out with you guys. Let's go. Let's go. Although I love this amazing size of the lot, this is a deal breaker for me. It's on a super busy road. I don't personally care. I think it matters what's on the inside of the house, but what do you guys think? Would that be a deal breaker? Be like rocking chair area, yeah, right? Yeah. Rocking chair, a little sure. cigar. I mean, literally looking out on all your citrus and fruit trees, like this is. So this is a very traditional floor plan, very like farmhousey feeling, very boxy. But what's really important to note is that a floor plan like this, where the stairs lead right out the front door, certain buyers are not going to like it. It's cultural. It's a superstition that the abundance is going to flow right out. Six different windows, but look how dark this space is. It's so dark in here. So dark. So I think if we put in some recessed light in here, really brighten up this. One of the, like, keep the keep beams around. Grab yeah. white in the ceiling, it would brighten it up. Of course, get ready. Done. I'm out of TP. I got you. Grab <laughs> the bed's really dark in here. Yeah, Again. that's the theme of this house. It's like a Everything cave. Everything is wood, wood and very cave, dark. But Coated of paint, refinishing cabinets. Lots of space. I would blow this wall out, breakfast bar. I mean, potentially even an island. There's yeah. a lot of space. I would do a floor <laughs> ceiling pantry. <laughs> would you blow this wall out? Would you blow it out? Yeah, yeah I'd blow this wall out, guys. most patriotic wallpaper I've personally seen. It's all like cities and guns and like the capital and an eagle and ships. I think it'd be really cute yeah. for like a nautical nursery. Lauren I likes it. I could, I would get rid of this. This trap Justine. No, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you hide the kids who are really bad after your remodel. There's a lot of storage but it's funky in this house so you right. definitely want to repurpose. Of course you didn't know. I know. But aside from that, you definitely need to gut this and start over. But it's weird because it's the only bathroom up here. Upstairs. So we've got three bedrooms up here, one bath. So you'd probably want to make two. We'd have to. Yeah. We'd yeah. want to figure out a way. Yeah. One of the really cool things about this property is it's on a really large lot that's over 16,000 square feet. This little shed is still on the same property. My thoughts are you could take this fence and continue it down, split the whole thing, and probably build another entire house. Or What do you guys think? As a flip investor, no. I not. think it's too tight at the price point. But I would live here forever and make it my forever home. I would maybe add a second house, rent it out, let my grandma move in. Like, I mean, realistically, if you're looking for a buy and hold forever type home, this is it. I would 100% give it a thumbs up. For but that, as a that flip, reason, but no. yeah, for a flip, no. <laughs> too much work, too expensive, too much to take on. Yeah. So today is the day I have not been looking forward to with the plumbing. It's the day they turn off, turn off the line. So John and I are going to be without water. So is Teray. She's a great sport for all of today. So it's a good thing we've got a porta potty in the driveway, although I am sincerely hopeful I don't have to use it. I plan on running to the food store up the street if I have to go to the bathroom at all today. So I might dehydrate and starve myself, basically. So we got our plumbing tree team over here. And so our original plan did not look like this, <laughs> but they ran into some issues yesterday where we found out that our neighbor's sewer line was actually tied into ours, which is never really what you ideally want when you're redoing a sewer line. So now these hardworking guys, say hi, my friends. I'm gonna give you a shout out here to our social following. So the guys over at Plumbing Tree are awesome and they basically immediately hopped to plan B which was to start trenching all of this. So as you guys know, this is the day I have not been excited for, my day without a toilet. And thanks guys, you guys are doing awesome. And I'm gonna show you what's happening around the side of the house. Look at our cute front door, the new screen is. So here we are. Ah, oh, really nice old plumbing. So you guys can see, this is our old sewer line, really shitty. And they're replacing it with brand new ABS. 
Um, but yeah, this is exactly what you don't want your plumbing pipes to look like. John and I have known since we bought this house that we had some major plumbing issues and we've just been waiting for this moment to get them done. So there's all our new piping. This is kind of a cool perspective from up here. So we've made a lot of progress. That's quite a hole, my friends. And then in here, they pulled the toilet. And I actually just had John paint <laughs> the white patch that was there. Mm -hmm. It was an opportune moment, so we got handy. When there's no plumbing in your house. Yeah, so. so when there's no plumbing in your house and you're a real estate agent, you take advantage of what's available to you. Teresa and I are going for a little field trip right now. You'll notice my accessories. anything on the planet worse than applying contact paper. Therese, Therese and I are just being tortured right now. This is terrible. DIY for like failing. What did you say? What did you say? I just said I feel like this is something people do when they start crying. They're like crying as you do it. Yeah, I mean I can see why. Like I thought I measured this perfectly, but clearly not.